What is up guys? Steve Conroy with Lug Away Junk Removal and Demolition. Welcome to my cold shop, which is why I have this construction heater over here, construction site heater. Electric bill is going to be big, but this thing, this thing rips. Um, so today I'm bringing you a video on trucks, junk removal trucks, rough costs, what you should do with your situation, whatever. Um, I, I'm going to answer some questions. Um, what is the difference in cost between a dump truck and a switch and go? Assuming someone is just starting in junk removal and would have to purchase a vehicle, what are your thoughts on buying a new NPR as your first truck versus a new 2500 in dump trailer? I'm speaking mostly of cost and your personal experience. I know you made a video a year ago, but have your preferences changed? Um, does having a gas truck versus diesel make a difference for hauling like this other than the diesel being more expensive? So I'm going to give you my two cents on for guys just starting out. Don't buy a dump truck, use a pickup truck. Buy a beater and put walls on it and use that because you could get three months into this and say you hate it. Um, if in three months you like it, you've saved enough money, you can go buy a dump truck. Um, I personally think buying used dump trucks is a waste of money. Um, I know there was someone on one of the Facebook pages was looking for like a dump truck with like 150,000 miles on it. He's about to drop like 48,000 on it. It's like save up another 20 and get something new. You get the warranties with it, whatever. Um, that's my opinion. I'll never buy, um, I'll never buy used. Have I bought used before? Every pickup truck I ever owned in my entire life was used um, until I could afford, you know, this one. But just buy a used truck if you're just starting out um, or get your hands on whatever you can use. Throw walls on the sides of it. Uh, that's how I started every morning that I was working, I would throw the boards on, I'd slap the magnet on, I'd drive down the street. When I was going out you know, with my buddies on the weekend, I'd you know, take the boards off. Maybe at the end of the day, take the boards off, take the magnet off. Um, you gotta kind of just hustle, hustle until you get the money to, to do it. So I don't really wanna you know, dive too deep in a starting junk removal with a pickup truck. But so I would say use a pickup truck, figure out if it's something you like. If you've saved enough money in a handful of months, then just go buy um, a dump, tr uh, dump truck. Yeah, if you haven't, maybe you're not doing well in business. Maybe you're not good with your business. I, I don't know, money management. But don't go lock in like a $1,000 a month payment or waste 50 grand on a truck that's gonna shit the bed and then you're still gonna have to use a pickup truck to get your jobs done. Um, so that's my, that's my thought on that. Um, I have on this whiteboard up here, I have all of the trucks that I have now, um, minus the last one, which I should be picking up in a week or so. Um, so the question about the switch and go, let me pull this back up again. Um, what's the difference in cost between a dump truck and a switch and go? So a switch and go is still a dump truck. It's just it's the system that's on it. It's like my 350 has a rack body on it. Um, my NRR has the switch and go roll off system. And then the truck I'm getting from JRA has a fixed dump body like my rack body, but it's just a different type of body um, that I've been considering just the JRA body, the JRA truck um, to decipher between them. So the cost difference, I mean, my 350 I bought in 2018, so I can't really um, compare them, but there is, there's not really a cost difference. Um, the switch and go system is between like 20 and 25,000. Um, the JRA body is roughly the same. And my rack body costs me 12,000, but it's not a hunk of steel. It's got wood floors. Um, it has the racks on the side, but I built out the inside with the plywood and you know sort of built that truck up. Um, at the time, I wanted the wood floors, uh, this and that, and obviously as you're growing and you evolve, um, things change. So that, that's kind of a little on that. There's really no big cost difference. If you're buying new, it's just acquire the chassis, 50 grand. 
If you're looking at a 550, any of the Fords, cab overs are usually like around 50 right now, new. Um, I think the 550s and the 600s, if you can find the newer 600s, um, or not newer, but it's like the first year they made them, or it was last year, uh, I think those are running at like 60, um, just for the cab and chassis, which means there's no body on it. So then you have to decide, what do I want to put on the back? I just spent 50K on the truck. Do I want to put a switch and go system on it for 20 to 25? Do I want to, you know, go through JRA and get their body for, you know, 20, 25? Um, do I want to get a rack body like my truck? And, you know, I'm assuming now it's probably 15. Uh, it's probably not 12, but it's up to you. The, the body is is uh it's your choice with whatever application you're trying to use your truck for um someone asked like oh why didn't you get another switch and go um i don't want a bunch of switch and goes just i don't want them um not that they make us lazy but you have to find an operator that can put the switch and go can down so now you're, they're not only driving the truck but now there's a huge liability of power lines coming down when the body's up trying to drop a can. Um, you know, you want to make your life a little easier dropping the can at a big job, but they mess up a sprinkler system um, by, you know, wrecking one of the heads at the front of the driveway. I don't know what it is. It's just more of a liability. Um, it works for me right now. And I had commented on someone's, um, uh, replied to someone's comment. Uh, and I think it was that kid. Um, and I, you know, and I said simply, I'm letting things ride out. It's my first season with it. I mean, it's slow now, but when once we're, you know, full blast, um, I'll be able to really get an understanding of like, holy crap, the switch and go is where it's at, or, hey, I'm glad I bought it, but, you know, maybe I'll do some more rack bodies, or maybe the JRA truck is, is sick, and, and I want, you know, a couple more of those. So um, it, you're always evolving, it's, and everything is everything's just moving. Um, so you're moving, growing, everything is... Uh, Everything's up in the air, right? It's all it's all kind of up in the air. Um, so we're gonna take a look at at this um, this whiteboard up here. But uh, I wanted to touch on diesel versus gas. So diesel is gonna be an extra ten thousand, um, and then you obviously have a better, I guess, machine for hauling. Um, you're not gonna you know feel it as much as a gasser when you're you know pulling some heavy weight but you have the maintenance costs that come with diesel. So I had never owned a diesel pickup. Uh, my first diesel is the, my 350 back there. And I bought that in unison with my trailer, my Silverado shit the bed. And I was advertising a lot for concrete work, which is kind of wild because we did a shitload of concrete work um, right when I bought the trailer and it's kind of fizzled out now. I know it's the winter, but, um, it's, uh, it's kind of weird how it happened. But when I bought the trailer, I said, oh, I need something to offload into because you guys know my transfer station uh, situation. And I didn't want to buy a new dump truck because I didn't necessarily need one, but I also needed a pickup truck uh, to get myself around. So the truck trailer combo was phenomenal. If I could do it all over again, I would never do it, but that is what it is. Um, and we were doing a lot of concrete work. So I said, okay, I'm gonna max my trailer out almost every time we're using it. Um, so I was like, I'm just gonna go with the diesel. And you can't feel the trailer behind it. And, and I've towed my trailer with a friend's um, 250 that is not diesel. And you know, you can, you're really hammering the gas with it. So I'm glad I made that choice, but I don't have diesel dump trucks because I don't wanna deal with the maintenance on them. You're gonna have guys beating on them as I expand. I can't, you know, be the know-it-all of everything that's going on with every truck. Um, the last thing I need to have is, or I mean, the first thing I need right now is an on on-site mechanic for random crap. But the last thing I want is to be calling an on-site mechanic to be fixing crap, and that's for gassers as well. But the diesel trucks just have it's a higher entry with that extra ten thousand, and then the cost for repairs. Is greater longevity yeah you're gonna get way more of a life out of that engine um, than a gasser but I don't know I just I don't really think it's a hundred percent necessary for this business 
then again, when I picked up a can um, on, I think it was last Saturday during like this ice storm we had, um, the customer was kind of freaking out when I was picking it up because I was I was doing a wheelie. We had, I ended up maxing out the truck. Um, when I dumped it, it was like 10,000 um, pounds, so five tons, and that's like a little over what it actually can pull, or it's like right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could feel it driving. Uh, the NRR this year, 2022, is the first gasser they made um, in that class truck. So it is equivalent to what a diesel can pull, but I'm sure if I had a diesel engine in there, it wouldn't have felt like I was really driving anything around behind me. Whereas, you know, I was definitely, you know, hitting the gas a little for, for that one. But that's, that's my opinion on diesel. You can do whatever you need to do with that. Don't, don't, you know, think that I'm the know-it-all with it. I'm the last person that knows everything about diesel engines. Um, but let's take a look at this here. So in 2018, my 350 with the rack body was 50 grand. The body was 12, bringing the total 62. There's no taxes in this, so. I roughly spent between like 62, 65 on it. The switch and go NRR cost me 75. Again, with no taxes, a little bit more. And then the JRA truck that I haven't picked up yet um, is gonna run me 78. Now, I bought that in 2018. I bought the 2022 NRR. I think I bought that, I don't know, three months ago. I'm a horrible judgment of, of time, but maybe three months ago. Um, I think after that, or I can't even remember when I ordered the, the, the one from JRA. Um, it's kind of been all over the place because I was making so many crazy phone calls and and um, I know that I bought the JRA truck after I went to the conference in North Carolina, um, Junk Con, because I was sitting at dinner with Lee and he was like, listen, we got a couple that are coming in. One of them slated to you if you want it. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'll think about it. And then at the end of that conference, I was like, let's do it. So I don't even remember when that was. You have to go back and look when Junk Con was, but... Something around that. So we got 62, 75, 78, and I threw this here. I was just looking this up. Um, it's looking like the, the, ch the cab and chassis are 60 to 65. So, you know, you have, to, you have to decide what's gonna be right for you. So these payments are gonna, your payments on a new truck are gonna be between a thousand and like 1300 if you're gonna put like 10K down. So backing up to what I had said beforehand, if you're starting out, use a pickup truck, save up 10 grand, put a down payment on a truck. That's, that's what you should do. Um, I, I don't think it would be smart to go and buy a new truck right now. And I think it's a horrible idea to buy used because like I said, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, um, you're gonna be buying, or you're gonna be using a pickup truck either way. Um, so. That's kind of that. I know there's some some things I'm probably leaving out here. I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys um, before I start my day and head out and do some things. Um, I got a truck out there now, the Isuzu. The NRR actually is is going into, I'm, I have to bring that to the Switch and Go authorized dealer to get the some plates shaved off and new ones put on and the, and the new rollers put on and that's gonna be down for a day, which is a pain in the ass, but it's the slower season, so I can manage. Um, I'm very excited to pick up the new JRA truck. I'm gonna do a walk around video. I'll probably do one down there. I'll do, you know, like a two, three week review after we start uh, beating that thing up a little bit once we get it. Um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you guys um, hanging out with me on Tuesdays, 5.30 is when I drop these. Um, if you have any ideas for new videos, put them in the comments below. I get back to everyone. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks.